<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows, and I'm back with another video. Tonight I'm uh, doing something different. Maybe some of you still remember this standing on the radio behind me. This is an. Uh, I think it's called Tuned Loop Antenna for uh, the medium and uh, shortwave bands. It's basically a coil, this one here, and the coil is basically not more than some wire round around. And the capacitor, can you see it? It's this here, it's, it's a variable, and it's quite dirty. It's a very variable capacitor. So, uh, yeah, and this is because you have to tune it to resonate with the uh, frequency of the station you want to receive. And this is uh, actually really great because uh, it has a lot of uh, gain on the frequency and, yeah, everything from this is made from scrap, really everything. Yeah, uh, it resonates at a frequency and has a really high gain at this frequency and uh, basically the entire gain of the of the antenna is uh, concentrated to the frequency that you tuned it. So, uh, yeah, everything is made out of cardboard except for the uh, capacitor. So I took, and the wire of course, and I, so I took a, a square piece of cardboard and cut it into a sort of round shape. It's, it's not really round, it doesn't really matter. And uh, then I took some uh, old telephone wire, cut it up and uh, used the wire, the single uh, wires inside. It's solid wire. It's supposed to be better to, lose, uh, to use uh, lit wire, but I didn't have it so I used uh, solid wire. And uh, I think the more windings you have on this, uh, coil, the uh, lower the, the capacity of the uh, capacitor can be. So it's I, that's what I remember. I have built this two or three years ago. So I, I don't remember exactly, but you can look it up on the internet. It's not rocket science. It's really just a coil, coil with uh, with a capacitor. So use as many windings as you can. I did this slit inside here. So, uh, yeah, and you need an uneven amount of those. Uh, and you will get it when you uh, start winding the wire. So I started on top here. I don't know on, on which side, so this is uh, the tapping point. For some reason on the top it would have been... No, it wouldn't. Or would it? Yeah. yeah. No matter, I, I used uh, the top, so uh, those two wires should be the end of the coil, but I'm not exactly sure. I have some uh, different tabs on the back side uh, to make the coil uh, of different length. I didn't have enough wire to uh, wind it in one go anyway, so I thought it would be a good reason to make it, uh, make some tabs so I could use different amount of windings and if I think correct, if I'm correctly uh, thinking then uh, the more windings the lower the frequency. Yeah I think that was the way it was and I added the other tabs to uh, to try to use it in, in the short wave bands. It, it works perfectly fine on, on medium wave. I don't think I get uh, to the long wave frequency. Probably not. Yeah, so some windings and I think if you make it bitter, bigger it uh, gets more gain. So that's how I constructed that the, the wires down here and, and this is only a proof of concept. So it, it's not working anymore. The uh, contacts on the capacitor are, are worn away. I, I really tried it and it, it doesn't work anymore. 
And there are also not uh, many AM stations. There are none left in Germany. Only a couple uh, that I can receive from the Netherlands and Belgium. And the one that would be interesting has a very crappy signal over here. Don't know why. Yeah, and the capacitor is basically just... Uh, this is the top of a slimline... Uh, can you see it? Slimline CD case. And I'm not pulling this out because... Uh, it's uh, very hard to get it back in. And uh, yeah, oh, I will pull it out. It doesn't work anymore anyways. And I don't know if you can see it. Those are two other, basically the same thing. Uh, also covered with tin foil, but uh, not entirely like on this. So, uh, let's get over here and get the alligator clip away. So this tin foil is glued to this on both sides, connected here so I can, uh, I have a top and a bottom plate to uh, basically double the capacity of the capacitor, but uh, on the uh, capacitor plate inside uh, it's not covered entirely, I cut it uh, sort of like this to have more uh, more uh, to make it less sensitive if I had done it like this it, it, it's literally less than a millimeter and uh, it changes very much so uh, it, it worked out better like this I did several experiments yeah that's it that's a tuned loop antenna for AM radio this time it was not hard to get it in. Uh, it's directional, so uh, the end where these two parts uh, turn to is the direction uh, where it receives from and it really does not receive very well from the 90 degree angle uh, direction. So uh, if you have two stations on the same, fr same frequency which uh, can happen on AM and they are apart you can uh, increase the signal of the station you want and null out uh, the signal of the station that you don't want that's really quite handy it was quite handy when we uh, still had the uh, AFN station uh, less than 10 miles away from here because uh, at night time there was uh, some, I think it was a Romanian station, could all, some southeastern uh, European station, definitely, which was uh, transmitting on just the channel next to it. And uh, since I listen to AM with my old tube radios, this was not uh, very selective, channel selective. Maybe it would have been if with proper adjustments and uh, brand new tubes, but uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, so it was really handy because uh, AFN was from that direction and the Romanian station was from that direction. So with proper adjustment uh, I could uh, null out the Romanian station which gave a uh, really high uh, pitched sound. I'm a little, lost for, a little bit lost for words right now. Uh, which was really annoying because that was the carrier of the uh, Romanian station that was uh, received as usable signal from uh, on the uh, AFN station because uh, the channel separation was not that great. But this antenna really helped a lot to uh, null this out and don't get this uh, high whistled, high, highly pitched sound. Uh, I tried it on a modern uh, hi-fi component and on the AFN station with proper tuning it uh, blew away the scale. It was right at the end of the scale and it produced very high uh, strong signal if uh, I adjusted the capacitor properly. It, this was is really a pain so if there is ever a Mark III uh, model I try to get a proper uh, variable capacitor. Would be great to be uh, motorized and if I don't get one I have to 
construct and build one myself. It's not rocket science to build a capacitor. It's just, yeah, basically annoying. So, uh, yeah. If you want to build something like that, look it up on the internet. I think it's a tunable loop antenna, what you have to look for. It's really easy to build. It's really, it's, it's, everything is just cardboard uh, glued together with some, uh, this is ordinary printer paper or copy paper, what is this called, and uh, just to make it a little bit nicer, to look nicer, because there were a lot of glue stains on it. But, yeah, maybe one buck, two bucks for the parts, it, it was spare telephone wire. Uh, a cardboard packaging, is, uh, yeah, CD cover, or effectively, effectively two or three CD covers, but I think those are parts uh, that are lying around everywhere. Some leads with alligator clips, and that's it. Really easy to uh, to build. Really fun to experiment. I uh, first time I had a cardboard box with some, uh, I think it was 10 or 20 windings of wire around. Just uh, just that, and all that already uh, had reasonable reception. Then I added uh, my first self-made capacitor, which was basically sh two sheets of uh, uh, tin foil glued to uh, pieces of cardboard with uh, a thin piece of uh, paper in between as a separator. Dielectricum is called, I think. Yeah, and it worked. It's as easy as that. So. Uh, if you still like listening to AM radio, uh, try to build one. Experiment with the length of wire, experiment with the capacitor, it's really easy to build. It's basic, basic, basic physics, it isn't more. Wind a coil, build a capacitor, plug it into your radio, uh, yeah, and those are the two output leads. And those are uh, the different tabs from the uh, from the coil, which will, would be connected in parallel with the capacitor. One, the two plates of the capacitor are inside here, and I had to fit uh, another lead to uh, short circuit the top and the bottom plate of the ca uh, capacitor, so that they are electrically connected. So the uh, the two plates add. The, the capacity together. Yeah, it's really easy to build and it works amazingly. It, nothing more I can say about it. Really try it with a cardboard box with uh, 20 uh, wire rounds and... Uh, no, I don't have it lying around here anymore. It's, yeah, a, a cardboard box of, of this size. And then really experiment with a, building a capacitor. It's really, really easy. And it gives really good result. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.